What's up everyone, Pierre from Into Fly Fishing and welcome to another river fishing tutorial. We are in the beautiful Western Cape and we're going to fish a small stream that's filled with trout. The main aim of this video is to help you understand how to properly land, handle and release fish safely so that it's better for you and better for the fish. Before diving into the video, I just want to give a shout out to the guys over at Snowby and Moonshine Rod Company. They really made this video possible and today I'm fishing with the Moonshine Epiphany 10 foot 4 inch 2 weight and I'm wearing the Snowby Prestige STX breathable waders and the Snowby fly vest with an integrated backpack. So when you hook into a fish, the idea is to get him into the net as quick, quickly as possible. Obviously, you have to take into account your tippet's breaking strain. Oh, that's a nice fish. Not bad. So we need to keep the fight short. So with a trout, it's kind of hard because they shake their head quite hard. But now, this fish is kind of tired. We're dragging it to calmer water. Oh my word. This fish is like, hang on. This fight's far from over. Just get your net ready if you can. And now just drag the fish to calmer water and as soon as his head breaks the surface, you can just keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, and then just pop in, in the net. Now it's vital. As soon as he's in the net, drop the net in the water so that you can keep this fish wet. Our prior primary aim is to look after this fish. So we need to keep it in the water and keep him wet. Our next concern, now that we've got the fish wet, is our rod's tip. So the rod's tip is under tension now because the fly is still in the fish's mouth. So what you can do now is just take the net into your other hand and let out some line from your reel just to look after your rod's tip. There's many cases that in this specific scenario, when you pull the fish closer to you and it's under tension, that's when your rod's tip snaps. So just remember to look after your rod right after you've safely landed the fish and that you know that it's wetted in the water. Another very important thing about your net is that it should be rubberized. These old school nets that um, aren't rubberized tend to take some of the mucus layer from the fish's skin and that protects the fish and prevents um, any infections and stuff like that. So make sure that your net's got a rubber coating on it or that it's a rubber complete silicone or rubber um, net. And now that we have the fish in the water, we can really take our time. The fish is, there's nothing that's gonna happen to the fish. We can take our time. This is the chance you can take to um, ask your fishing buddy to take his camera out, get ready. Um, the most important thing about taking photos of the fish is make sure that the exposure is ready before you even handle the fish so ask him just to take a couple of photos of the fish before you even handle the fish and now the next step after that would be to remove the fly if the fly hasn't come out so something that i want to say about the fly is that i really would encourage you to use barbless hooks barbless hooks just make it so much easier to to remove the fly from the fish um, it, it really does a lot less damage to the fish's mouth and um, out of a fishing perspective it actually gives you a lot better um, penetration into the fish's jaw as you fish so i would i would really recommend you tying or buying um, flies that are tied on barbless hooks another very important thing before handling the fish is to make sure that your hands are wet so you can really wet your hands i know it's hard when the water is really cold but it's a lot better for the fish even if you wear gloves make sure that you wet those gloves properly before handling the fish then you can just put your hand into the net and like here you can see this fish is very fast it's been resting quite well and now just put your hand under the fish don't grip it you can literally just make the fish rest on your hand now that we have the fish comfortably lying in your hands um, all that you can do is ask your fishing buddy or your cameraman like Chris here um, just to do a countdown and then you lift the fish lift the fish up so what we're going to do I just want to illustrate to you 
how long we want to keep the fish out of the water. We don't want to keep them out of the water too long. So what we're going to do is one, two, three, lift, one, two, three, dunk him again. So in that, it's good to put your camera on burst mode, take a lot of photos or video or whatever you want to do, but generally don't keep the fish out of the water too long. Let's just do that one more time so you can see one, two, three, keep the fish out of the water and that's about it. The next step um, is probably the most rewarding and that's letting this little bugger go. So once again, keep him wet. All that you can do now is gently bring him out of the water, let him rest on your hand and then just let him rest there. He'll swim when he wants to. Don't push him forward and backwards. Otherwise, what happens is you might let a fish go that's not ready to be released yet. So just let him sit in your hand, open your hand and He'll go when he wants to go. There he goes. Perfect little release. And that's it. You've now safely released the fish and it can live on to fight another day. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. And we can let you know as soon as we release any new content. Until next time. Cheers.